Caitlin Clark's the new it. If you don't have a long ball, I'm talking about the 26, 30 feet, if you ain't doing the Steph Curry, if you ain't got none of that long ball in your game, yeah, you're gonna be behind. She's doing stuff we've never seen before. Never seen nobody do that on a consistent basis. There's a lot of girls in WV that have done it in spurts, but you know, that game I'm watching y'all in the final four, I'm like, damn, like, and I was a hater because you know I'm down with you, but she's not gonna hit that shot and bam, like, damn. Everyone following basketball is aware of Caitlin Clark's supernova status. Shift in our perception of the women's game. NBA luminaries that are knowledgeable about the game, both within and without have been in awe of her brilliance and the thrill. The WNBA has reached a new level of heights because of Caitlin's performance and popularity, but it gets even worse from here. More fascinating, the best of them. Michael Jordan has finally broken everything. His quiet over MJ's remarks on Caitlyn are revolutionary and his admiration for her says for itself, so pay attention because what Jordan had to say is nothing short of. NBA legend Rick Barry is an incredible person. Didn't mince words when discussing protecting Caitlyn Clark and a strong. Barry clarified in his statement that the Caitlin has endured ongoing hatred from some WNBA players are nothing more than there is no denying her anxiety and jealousy. Talent's remarks were powerful, putting those detractors in their place, Barry. Something that every Caitlin has to say. Clark's skeptics must listen because it demonstrates why she is deserving of everything that she has earned respect. I think it's reprehensible what they're allowing some of these players. Anybody that does something flagrant to this young lady for what she's brought to the game should be suspended and fined big time for doing that. Great WNBA player George Jaron additionally took action to protect Caitlin Clark. And his remarks had an equally powerful effect. Jaron wasn't afraid to call out. It is evident from the disregard that Caitlin's ability is impressive praised rather than disproved his assertion, was an attention getter that sent a message to all those who have doubts about Caitlin. Her brilliance will endure, and even legends acknowledge it, so prepare to listen. Gervin's strong protection. They don't know the value that she's bringing for all of them. She bringing, the, you know, they flying private planes down. They went fly, flying private before she came. They on major networks now. They weren't doing that. See, she remind me of Tiger Wood for golf. Yes. Men without a lot of media. Exposure is most likely to provide us with their unfiltered viewpoints, which is the reason. We'll begin with a former athlete who isn't broadcast on the radio in. Jeff Teague's retirement was a quality. The most of his 12 seasons as a starter in the league and he was a one-time All-Star while another took home an NBA championship ring, although he was never a media sensation or a highly Teague, a marketable figure who is now retired, didn't hesitate to attack the WNBA for its Caitlin Clark's therapy as she joined the league with a sizable following. Like, they played this all wrong, bro. Terribly, bro. They was supposed to gas this shit. This is why people don't watch this shit when y'all leave college. Women's sports, because y'all hating on the best thing that's going to happen to the W. While one could say that his delivery is unpolished, his primary point is extremely reasonable following years of intense discussion on the gender pay disparity in athletics and repetitive, fruitless attempts to increase the WNBA Caitlin's arrival visibility has at last started working on those fronts, yet she still had a difficult greetings, Teague just notes that such an attitude is hurting the league economically while stating unequivocally that he believes Caitlin is deserving of improved treatment from her peers and managers discussing mistreatment. Paul Pierce, a Celtics legend, deserves some blame for the hatred in the media. Early in the season with regard to Clark, the 10 times All-Stars have expressed public skepticism. Early on, Caitlin Clark even caused a 
His comments caused a racial controversy regarding the amazing rookie he has with the fever. Since attempting to keep his distance from some of that sound and began hesitantly demonstrating some deference to the Indiana fever guard here is what? After Clark was gone, Pierce had to speak away from the American Olympic squad. You claim you want the women's game to grow, and then you keep the most popular girl in women's basketball off the team. How do you grow internationally and domestically if you don't put her on the U.S. team? It just makes the most sense. Sometimes you have to say, hey, you guys, this is bigger than the game, which it is. I mean, women's basketball is at an all-time high because of Caitlin Clark. On. On the surface, his tone seems courteous. However, if you analyze the reasoning behind it, you'll observe that Pierce has yet to completely convinced of Caitlin Clark's basketball prowess, he thinks. Clark ought to have joined the United States. Ways to increase the level of popularity of athletics, but suggests that Caitlin didn't receive an invitation based only on merit. Then again, Paul Pierce is one of the the most controversial NBA players turned sports analysts, hence all of his opinions, must be viewed cautiously because he may just be attempting to remain pertinent in the media landscape at the exact moment. You believe that Caitlin's trauma, it was impossible to surpass Shaquille O'Neal, revealed a shocking revelation about Angel Reese's podcast Shaq didn't mince words as he Caitlin Clark was commended in front of her worst critic was a a stunning scene involving an NBA great protecting Caitlin in an unexpected way. One thing was made plain by his words. Caitlin is remarkable, and even she, toughest critics couldn't dispute it yet. Prepared to hear it directly from the large. Diesel himself. And I was a hater because, you know, I'm down. She was like, she's not going to hit that shot. And bam, like, damn, she's not going to hit that shot. Man, like, if I say 10 times you're not going to hit the shot and you hit the shot, that means you're the truth. So I'm telling you now, if you just lower it, just lower it like this. Absence from the most important athletic event of. Caitlin might have suffered from the year on A. On an individual basis, but it might have been A. At least a blessing in disguise. What a three-time NBA champion center. Dwight the defensive player of the year. Howard believes he thought about it back at the time for Caitlin to utilize her vacation, to hone her abilities and become an expert in the season's second half, which is precisely what took place, according to the quotation from Almost Prescient is Howard's voice when we take a look at it again. She is a great player, but it's a lot of players that, no lie, who, as far as basketball-wise, they have the edge over her of why they should be playing in the Olympics right now. Mind you, this should motivate her. This should give her. This should make her go harder in the gym. The three weeks that they off, she should get in better shape. Caitlin Clark had changed significantly following the Olympic break, and as we unsure about the extent of the omission from. The group inspired and fueled her rage. She has undoubtedly found her rhythm. Visiting Paris and possibly sitting on a stacked team's bench might have caused Clark to lose her rhythm. In addition to the potential for a unexpected wound that can persist in her return, Dwight recognized a chance for where everyone else only saw Caitlin. Inability and disrespect, and he was intelligent enough to understand that a player of the caliber of Clark is in the ideal position, should take advantage of that chance and demonstrate her superiority above the majority of the players chosen before her who are still with Caitlin Clark, you must always take. Taking the larger picture into consideration Hall of Isaiah Thomas, a famous point guard, was constantly able to view any viewpoint on end off the court following his outstanding performance. Career that resulted in consecutive NBA titles won by the Detroit. Thomas Pistons later became head NBA executive and coach for several years when questioned regarding Clark Thomas's 
a largely favorable opinion with one. Slide detour at the conclusion. I think it's great what she's done, and I think it's great what the media and the WNBA and marketing and the players are doing because, you know, controversy is not good, but, you know, controversy sells. That's A. Excellent work from Thomas, who oversaw. To give everyone praise while continuing to point. Exposing the shady operations that underlie all the. One line sums up Caitlin's hatred, it's no. Secret that people pay attention to and adhere to. Drama and by insulting Caitlin Clark. At every angle when she initially. When the journalists got to the league, they had a. Lot to gain let's simply say that Isaiah. Is right on the money, yet he doesn't. Like to contribute to the controversy itself. What he is saying is that Caitlin Clark has. Swiftly received grassroots backing from. Indianapolis supporters yet she's still unable to. Contrast with a few basketball. Heroes from history in terms of. At the top of the list is local love. Of all times most adored Indiana ballers. The best three-point shooter is time. And ruthless rival Reggie Miller. They wore it for all 18 seasons. A Pacers jersey with the hash 31 although you might. Anticipate that Miller will be respectful of as his town's new savior, Clark, went in the other direction and essentially stated, something all newcomers need to learn how to handle, with hardship and rivalry. What did you expect was going to happen to her? Number one, I don't think it's jealousy. Oh my God, she's getting all the endorsements. We're going to go after her. You're playing at the highest level. You're playing in the WNBA. You're coming from college and you're going to the pro ranks, yeah. right? What did she expect was going to happen? What? Why are people so shocked, yeah. right? You're playing against grown women. The same thing happened to us. Reggie. Miller was an NBA player in the past, where the norm was physicality and his viewpoint on severe fouls may not apply to the game today, but let's be. It is evident that Caitlin Clark is having difficulties. She's more than just competitive. It was enduring needless animosity. WNBA players are never realistically expected to merely greet Caitlin without any battle, but the degree of opposition she has experienced surpasses earning her. When it seems like someone is trying to push, Caitlin's trek down is much more than that. Rather than merely gaining respect, it's about insisting for equitable treatment even if it signifies standing tall in the face of adversity. Magic Johnson participates actively in basketball for women as a co-owner of That's why the Los Angeles Sparks We are aware that the superstar guard and the architect of five NBA titles groups are focusing on what's occurring in the WNBA Johnson provided a extremely perceptive evaluation of Caitlin's function in the league while also bringing up other well-known rookies now, Caitlin, her teammates got to come to her defense. Sure. You can't allow her to have to fight every battle, right? But we have to understand that both Caitlin, Angel, and Brink, who plays for my Sparks, they made the WNBA better. And they're going to be tested by these incredible women who have been in the league for a long time. Mm -hmm. Caitlin is the most popular WNBA player, but she's not the best at this time. Just like Larry and I were not the best when we entered right. the league. We became the best. That's A. Excellent work from Thomas, who oversaw. To give everyone praise while continuing to point. Exposing the shady operations that underlie all the. One line sums up Caitlin's hatred. It's no. Secret that people pay attention to and adhere to drama and by insulting Caitlin Clark. At every angle when she initially, when the journalists got to the league, they had a lot to gain let's simply say that Isaiah is right on the money, yet he doesn't like to contribute to the controversy itself. What he is saying is that Caitlin Clark has swiftly received grassroots backing from Indianapolis supporters, yet she's still unable to contrast with a few basketball heroes from history in terms of 
At the top of the list is local love. Of all time's most adored Indiana ballers. The best three-point shooter is time. And ruthless rival Reggie Miller. They wore it for all 18 seasons. A Pacers jersey with the hash 31 although you might. Anticipate that Miller will be respectful of. As his town's new savior, Clark. Went in the other direction and essentially stated. Something all newcomers need to learn how to handle. With hardship and rivalry.